is E with the Giano system and our body's a little grumpy so I'm gonna film this sitting down. Um, so uh, we've mentioned that we are now um, trying to schedule time out for everybody and we had somebody ask about how do you do that? How do you cause a switch to happen um, instead of just waiting for them to happen spontaneously? Uh, and there are several uh, methods that you can do. Um, like one of we find the most reliable ways is to call back to the, the alter you're wanting to switch with whether verbally or internally so i can say hey lil verbally and uh that will very often because she's heard her name cause her to pay attention um but if you have good internal communication you can just call back internally hey lil would you like to front and have a uh, handoff that way if you don't have good internal conversation yet, um, getting to know the other members of your team, whether by journaling, writing notes, making videos, um, is the best way. Because when you get to know them, the things that they like, those are often uh, things that can be used as a positive trigger. Caveat, only do this if um, parties are willing. It would be a betrayal of trust to trigger out an altar that did not want to front. So. An example of a positive trigger uh, would be music. Our, our tastes in music vary and we all have a different favorite song. So if we want a certain alter to front, we can play their favorite song, um, put on their favorite TV show, um, favorite food, a favorite smell. We have very, um, uh, very opinionated tastes of fragrance. So um, favorite way to dress. Um, stuffed animals for the littles. So doing these things individually can often cause a switch, but combining several uh, would very likely give you the the switch with the altar that you're wanting. Uh, so for instance, I tend to like uh, certain jewelry, doing my hair a certain way and certain types of clothing. And even if I wasn't out, if Jenna had put all those on, one, she wouldn't be feeling very comfortable in it. And I would be like, oh, oh, hello, don't we look cute today? And she could, even if she didn't have good internal conversation, which she and I do, she could say, hey, E, what do you think of this outfit to try and get my attention? Um, so those are all suggestions for ways to help facilitate a positively triggered switch. Um, and I, I know some people are worried about switching back if you that comes to a matter of trust really so uh the more you communicate with your team members the more you learn that you can or cannot trust them so um there is a benefit to trust and that's really the big currency we use in our system so if you extend the trust to this part and say okay i i want you to have time out to front for this um, but i need to do this activity later um, and then they do not allow you to, the, to do that activity later, then there won't be the trust extended uh, for a while. So to have that conversation, allow them the opportunity to earn trust and to give it back to you in return uh, are all excellent ways of filling teamwork and a cooperative system. Uh, it takes a lot of time, effort, trial and error, uh, but it's worth working at. So. Um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments and uh if you have any uh things that you would like covered in the future we'll get to those so just let us know